Hi, this is Nev Lapid from Snowboard Addiction. I'm up at Whistler Blackcomb with my buddy Jordan Decker, and this is a tutorial about how to improve your front 780s on park jumps. We're riding with a bunch of real Snowboard Addiction customers here, and we've dissected some of the common problems that happen while people are learning their front 780s, and the idea is that you can compare these problems to our riding to see where you need to improve. One of the very first problems you may have when learning a front side 180 is that you're having trouble getting a full 180 around. If you watch this guy here, as he goes off the jump, his upper body and lower body are counter rotating against each other and it looks like he's doing a shifty. That's stopping him from being able to get a full 180 around. Now you can 180 with counter rotation, but when you're learning, I think it's easier to use rotation where your upper body and lower body rotate into the same direction to make a 180 happen. If you watch our riding, you'll see how smooth it looks through the air. Our upper body and lower body go in the same direction all the way until we land. That's a 180 using rotation. One of the next problems that I found was that people do way too many turns and speed checks as they're approaching the jump for a 180. Mellow it out. If you watch how we do it, we'll usually try to find where we're going to go from for speed and go more or less straight to the jump with perhaps some very smooth edging as we take off. Now you can front one off your heel edge or you can front one off your toe edge. I prefer to teach people to front one off the heel edge as that's gonna build in to learning front side 360s and 540s more easily. If you watch this rider, you'll see that he doesn't have the problem with too many turns and speed checks but his line of approach is off, and as he leaves a lip, he's flying off to the side. This means he's far more likely to knuckle the jump and perhaps crash. Now the ideal position is to be on edge as you leave a lip of the jump, but have that board leaving in a straight direction so that you fly in a straight direction and stomp down into the middle of the landing. One of the common problems that I saw with a lot of riders is that as they left the lip of the jump, they had too much weight on the heel edge. This was putting them off balance in the air, making them far more likely to crash. If I freeze frame this rider as he leaves a lip, you can see where his body weight is, very heavily on the heel edge. And if you can compare that to our riding as we leave a lip of the jump, we're also on our heel edge, but our weight is very much on top of the board. You need to keep your knees bent and your shins pushed into the front of your boots. This helps to keep your weight up on top of the board, which means that as you float through the air, you're going to be able to remain in balance and stomp down in control. The most common problem that I spotted was that people were too extended as they floated through the air and their legs were too straight in the air. In general, the more compact you are, the more style you're going to have and the more control. The more you pop, the more it's going to help to be compact through the air. You can really practice this on a trampoline. Just having lofty front side 180s with your knees and legs pulled up towards your chest. If you watch us, even when we don't grab the 180s, our legs are up and compact towards our body. And it still looks stylish. If you watch this rider here, he's trying to bend his knees to bring it up. But what's actually happening is his board and legs are coming up behind his back. This is one of the important reasons why you need to get some video of yourself riding so that you can see how you look when you're doing front side 180s. This guy will really improve his front side 180s if he can bring his legs and knees up towards his chest and his chest slightly down towards his knees. Adding grabs to your 180s is perhaps the best way to quickly add more style. To be able to grab your board, you have to be very compact and you have to use good pop off the jump. Also, when you grab your board, it's pretty hard to flail your arms around in the air so you just look more stylish straight away. An easy place to learn grabs is on a trampoline with a tramp board. You can learn the feeling of all the different grabs with the different 180s very quickly. Once you've dialed in your front ones with a variety of different grabs and you're confidently clearing the knuckle, stomping down into the landing with ease, it's time to start taking them to bigger jumps. 
bigger jumps give you a lot more time in the air. You can really relax that 180. It doesn't take much rotation. This tutorial is all about how to improve your front side 180s on small park jumps. Make sure you get a little bit of video of your own riding to see if you have any of these common problems. Then compare your riding to mine and Jordan's to see where you can improve and how you can add more style. We're at Whistler Blackcomb. I'm Nev Lapper from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding. <laughs>